Welcome to Tadashi Science, where our goal is to make science simple. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more helpful science content. Writing electron configurations for ions is very similar to writing them for atoms with only one small difference. In this video, we are going to cover that difference and show you how to write the electron configuration for ions. In order to understand how to write electron configurations of ions, it is important that you remember the information we covered in our electron configuration rules and electron configuration for atoms videos. If you do not remember this information or need a refresher, please check out our videos on these topics. When writing electron configurations for ions, the main thing you have to figure out is whether to add or subtract electrons, and this has to do with the charge. In our cations and anions video, we covered positive and negative charges and how changing the number of electrons will change the charge. If you need a refresher on this info, please check out our video. If the charge is positive, then that means electrons are removed. And if the charge is negative, then that means that electrons were added. Once you know if electrons were added or taken away, all you have to do is add or remove electrons from your electron configuration for the atom. The key rule to remember is you always add or remove electrons from the outermost energy level first. Now let's look at some examples. So the first example we will look at is the sodium ion. When sodium becomes an ion, it is going to have a plus one charge. So remember, because it has a positive charge, that means we remove one electron. So let's start by writing the electron configuration for the sodium atom. This is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Now, all we have to do is to remove one electron from that electron configuration. The important thing to remember is that we remove the electron from the outermost or the highest energy level. Remember, the big number in front of the letter represents the energy level. For sodium, this would be three or the third energy level. So we're going to remove that one electron from the 3s orbital, and that's going to give us an electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, which is the electron configuration for the sodium ion. In our next example, we're going to look at the aluminum ion. When aluminum becomes an ion, it's going to have a plus three charge. A plus three charge means that three electrons were removed. So again, let's start by writing the electron configuration for the aluminum atom. This is going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. And again, we're going to remove three electrons from the outermost energy level. In this case, that would be the third energy level. So I'm going to remove one from the 3p and two from the 3s. This leaves me with an electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 for the aluminum atom. In our next example, we're going to look at the iron ion. And we're going to look at the iron ion that has a plus two charge. The plus two charge just tells us that two electrons are removed. So I'll start by writing the electron configuration for the iron atom, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d6. It's important to remember that when we remove electrons, we're going to remove from the outermost energy level. In this case, it is not the last term, 3d6, but it's going to be the 4s2. I know that that's the highest energy level because remember the number in front, the 4, tells us the energy level, and in this case, four is the biggest number. So I'm going to remove the two electrons from the 4s orbital, and then I'm gonna write the electron configuration that's left over, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d6. And this is the electron configuration for iron with a plus two charge. Our next example we're gonna look at is the chlorine ion. The chlorine ion is going to have a negative one charge. The negative one charge tells us that one electron has been added. So I'll start with the electron configuration for the chlorine atom, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. I'm going to add the electron to the outermost energy level where I have available space. We see from the electron configuration for the atom that the outermost energy level or the highest energy level is the third energy level. I see that with 3s2 and 3p5. I cannot add it to the s orbital because as we've talked about previously, the s orbital can only hold two electrons. We know the p orbital can hold six electrons, so I see 3p5 has space for an extra electron, which is where I'm going to add it. 
That's going to leave me with electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, which is the electron configuration for the chlorine ion. Our last example is the oxygen ion. When oxygen becomes an ion, it's going to have a negative 2 charge. The negative 2 charge means that two electrons have been added. I'll start with writing the electron configuration for the oxygen atom, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. I'm then going to add two electrons to the outermost energy level. In this case, it's the second energy level, and I'm going to add them to the p orbital. Again, a p orbital can hold at most six electrons, and this one only has four. So I'll add two electrons to the orbital to get six, and I'll write the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, which is the electron configuration for the oxygen ion. Now you know the three rules that help us to write electron configurations. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us be able to produce more helpful science content. If there is a specific topic you need help with, please let us know in the comments.